Hello. Today I'm going to talk to you about pineapple. Does that sound good? The most delicious thing of all. Uh, the most delicious thing of all. Yes. So I know many people will go to the grocery store and they will perhaps buy the pre-cut version of pineapple, which is all fine and dandy, but that'll cost you some money. So my advice is to find yourself a good looking pineapple instead. It's really not that hard to cut it and it's a lot more gratifying and plus you can do something really cool with the core. So stay tuned. So when you're at the store, the best way to pick out the pineapple is to pick it up. Actually, the first thing you should do is look at it. So if you look at my pineapple, isn't it beautiful? My husband actually picked this one out. Shout out to him. Woo! Woo! He's nodding. That's the most you're gonna get out of him anyway. So he did a great job. Mostly yellow tells me that it's ripe. You want to make sure then you pick it up, give it a good <laughs> handle. Did you guys see that? And uh, what you'll be looking for here is weight. If it feels heavy for its size, that means it's ripe and juicy and sweet. If it feels light, that means it's not quite ready. Uh, if you also are picking it up, you should also kind of feel it a little bit. I'm not saying like stick your fingers and squish it hard, but just, you know, look around it, feel it. If there's any soft spot, that means it's also overripe. So you might want to put that guy down. I feel like underripe pineapple is just as bad as overripe pineapple personally. So, all right. After you've done that and you're still not really sure, you can also pull out a middle leaf. And if it comes out pretty easily, that means it's also ready. I'm just going to add to the leaf pile over there. Okay. So this guy is ready to go. He wants me to cut him open. He's super excited. Yes, he is a he, as usual. And always, always wash your pineapple before you cut it. Yes, you should do that. So make sure you clean all of it. And then let's get started. So it's super easy to clean a pineapple. Clean, we already talked about that. It is super easy to clean a pineapple. Cut a pineapple. The first thing you wanna do is take off its top. You can save that for your table decoration. I don't know, a dog toy? Don't do that, I don't think that's good for dogs. Okay, then you're gonna cut off the other side. And don't, you don't have to say that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to those tips. Not a great tip, Sarah. Okay, then you're left with a top and a bottom, and then you got flat surfaces. And then the next part is super easy. You've already tackled the most hard part of the whole thing, which is cutting the off the top. Hard. The most hard. The most hard part. But first, before I clean off my pineapple, I must. Oh, oh. Before you cut it. You must? I must. Okay, let me get the knife away. Is that good? Does that feel right to you? Okay. Did you just put that on your head? Yes. That's weird. Your pineapple head. Okay. Now all you're going to do, you've got your flat surface on the bottom, so it's not going to roll away on you. You're going to cut away the sides of the pineapple. Now, this is going to feel a little bit sad to you because you're going to say, oh no, but you're cutting away so much of the pineapple. There is kind of a lot of waste with pineapple, but I can tell you this. You're going to waste a lot less than that guy at the grocery store. So there you go. I mean, it's not super significant. So you saw how fast that was. It took me like two seconds. The key, a sharp knife, guys. Uh huh. A sharp knife will always treat you well. And then I'm just cleaning up some of the little outside parts came off. So I'm just cleaning that up a little bit. And then you can go back around and you can find the little, little doodle bops, whatever you want to call them. What should we call these? Little scoochers? Little scamingers? Little scoshies? I better stop. Who knows what's going to come out of my mouth. Okay, now he's all trimmed and looking beautiful. And now, oh my goodness, so slippery. Now you can still see you've got the core in the middle. Oh, that's why your towel is handy. Then you just cut down along the core. So I like to go around this side and let him flop down. And then I'll go around on the other side and I'm just cutting alongside the core. And then I've got two big chunks and then I'm gonna get two little pretty chunks, pretty chunks. Then you're left with the core. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm actually gonna turn this pineapple, at least some of it into pizza later. And since I've got these pieces, I think they're perfect for pizza. My husband's watching me and it's kind of like, I told him he couldn't watch TV, so now he's just watching me. <laughs> he's chopping away and he's watching me. Okay, 
So anyway, I'm just gonna cut these into little pieces that'll be perfect for pizza. And I'm just putting them together and I'm running my knife through and I'm getting thin little pieces that I'm gonna save for my, one of my most favorite types of pizza, which is Hawaiian pizza. It's so good. I know some people don't really like it. I think it's super awesome. I like to put a little jalapeno in it. Oh yeah. So you see, I got some nice little pieces for my pizza later. Pieces for my pizza. I'll move that over there. There you go. You hang out over there. Then, however you want to cut it at this point is totally up to you. We'll probably just eat it. So I'm probably going to just cut it into like little chunks. Now let's take my knife. And since it's so ripe, it's so easy to cut. I just make it into little strips and then I cut it this way. Bam, that's done. You know, I got some small mouths over here. Mine's not small. I like huge pieces of pineapple. But you can cut them however you want. Then you can store them in your refrigerator and you've got pineapple for days. Pineapple for days. Then you gotta test it, make sure it tastes good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Delicious. So I'll put that in a container, keep it in my fridge. I'll tell everybody to eat it before it goes bad. I'll have this one on our pizza. And then back to this guy, we're almost done. This guy, what you can do with him is you can put him in a pitcher with water. You can put basil or some other fresh herb in there if you want mint. Mm. And then you can have pineapple water. I'm just saying, it's pretty delicious and refreshing. And you have this for your head. Too far? Too far. That's, that's him telling me it's too far. Good thing I'm gonna take a shower next. All right, so that's how you cut a pineapple. Go out, find a pineapple, stop buying the pre-cut stuff. You can do it. I believe in you. All right, thanks for tuning in, telling me how it goes, and uh, thanks for watching.